I say, fuck a like, give me love. But I want y'all to really pay attention to when these cats are sitting up here telling you that they like you. Okay, so we go out, we sit down, we having drinks, we having dinner, you know, I see somebody over there on the other side of the, you know, the lounge, and I'm like, damn, she's sexy as hell, let me go and approach her right quick. Sit down, we having a conversation, and a few minutes later, you notice that a lot of cats is going to tell you, look, I really like you. They're going to all of a sudden start texting you, I really like you, just a couple of days later, and then, you know, naturally you want to feel good and say, damn, this guy really likes me, he likes shit about me. But then you got to calm the fuck down, and really realize the truth, we don't even fucking know you to like you. I mean, I like how you look, I like your ass, I like them titties, I like them lips. I love, I love that Brazilian weave, but that's it. I don't like you, I don't know you, I don't love you, I just love how you look. I love the idea of having you in a physical state, that's it. So you gotta slow these brothers down and you gotta give them this inspection. I call it the inspection of love, right? It's between love and lust if you really like me, but I say fuck a like, you gotta learn how to love me first, okay? Ask these cats, what do you like about me? And see what they say. Oh, you know, I, I just, you know, you're a beautiful person. Really? So you mean to tell me that you're willing to take me out and do all of these things for me just because of the physical? And then you ladies got to ask yourself, damn, is that all I'm worth? The physical? From this top to bottom? That's it? That's why you calling me? And then you got to make that brother sit down and wait. Take him through some conversations. Let him really get to know you. Discuss your pain. Discuss everything that you done been through, why you done been through it, why you think the way that you think, and why you make the decisions that you make. So that way, this man knows the type of woman that he's dealing with. Even if you bipolar, you crazy, you sensitive, whatever the fuck it is, the point is, express yourself to this individual. Stop hearing that we like you guys and start going crazy like, oh my God, he really likes me. Yes, I'm going to go out with him tonight. Because a lot of what you guys do is, you let us like you, and we like your ass straight into that bedroom. And then you're looking for love, and we're gone. Because all we did was like your ass. Or we just like how you look, or we like how the pussy was, or we like how your booty was, whatever the situation may be. At the end of the day, you were looking for love when we was looking for likes. So that's why I say, fuck a like. You got to look for love, baby. You got to listen for that word, love. All right? Now, don't get it twisted. A lot of individuals are going to tell you that they like you because it's a lot of individuals that I like. It's a lot of people that has captured my attention and has made me see something special about them. But I sat down and talked to them. I got to know them. I see their work ethic. I see their hustle. I see their struggle. That's what I like. I like the determination of a woman. I like the ambition of a woman. I like the beauty of a woman. But I like more than just your ass and your titties. I like your heart. I like your soul. I like your spirit. I like the way that you take care of them kids and you keep them clean and you feed them. And that no matter what you're going through, love, no matter how hard this shit is, guess what? This house is clean. Your little girl's hair is done. Your little boy's is on point. Because you make that shit happen. That's what I like. And now that you know I like you and I like the things about you and I like the qualities, the real you. Now will you give me an opportunity to love you? That's the true question. Can you let this like turn into love? But you got to make sure that this, really, this individual really likes you. A lot of these niggas don't like y'all. They don't like who you are on the inside. They just like what you look like. They just like the ideal of fucking. I'm just being honest. Because I'm a man. So I know what it is. I see a lot of women. Think about it like this. Stop telling me you know me. Or you feel me. Or you understand me. The only thing you know is how I look from across the room. When a woman approaches me, I know off top. It's strictly physical. It's either how I dress. How I look. It's something about me that makes her want to approach me or smile and flirt and do what she do to capture my attention so I can go holler at her. But I ain't mad at her because she's doing what a woman do. But at the end of the day, I really don't know this woman. This woman don't know me. So all it is is a physical right now. So now that we know that we're attracted to each other and that attraction got our attention, what's going to keep my attention? What is it about you? What is it about this male that you women are looking at that's going to keep you interested? Now he has your attention. Now what's going to keep you interested? Stop letting these men get your attention and have so much of your attention to where you're not paying attention to how he's walking you to that bedroom slowly but surely. And again, like I said, stop having sex. You'll start having more. And this goes all the way back to being equal. When he asks you a question, ask him one. When he wants to know about you, want to know about him. Stop assuming there's so many of these niggas out here riding around in a Lexus that's living at home with their auntie. But again, just because he's in a Lexus and he likes you, 
All of a sudden, he likes your ass straight to that bedroom. Y'all got to chill the fuck out and wake up for real, love. Again, I'm not trying to bash y'all. I'm not trying to say anything negative to y'all. I'm not trying to make y'all feel like y'all retarded or that y'all don't know nothing and that women are making all of these mistakes. Not at all. All I'm trying to do is give you fair warning to what's really going on. That's it. But that's only so that way you can become stronger. At the end of the day, if me and you sit down and we have a real conversation, just five minutes of a real conversation, that's all it takes. It takes five minutes to change someone's life. That's it. It really takes less than that. But at least five minutes to sit down and talk with me, get to know me, understand me, understand my pain. And if that conversation turns into a two or three hour conversation, that's good. Who cares if you're long winded? Get to know me, understand me, know what this pain is and understand that shit. If so many women in the past before would have truthfully understood my pain, what I was going through, you know, the shit that I was feeling in my head, a lot of them would have never fucking slept with me because they would have knew I was hurt. I was a damaged male. I was going through some shit. And they were only there to support my train of thought at that moment, my mental, my mental perspective of what I thought women was at that moment. So all I'm here to tell you is, is that fuck alike and learn to love. Learn to get to know somebody. Understand them. And make sure that they get to know you and they understand you. Embrace who you are. Don't be afraid of being goofy. I love goofy women. Make me laugh, joke, and trip. Make me stumble, fall. Love, I'm not too good to do none of that shit. I don't give a fuck about going on no expensive date. All I want to do is get to know you and enjoy you and love you and learn to grow to love you. And check this out. If I'm not meant to be your man, if I'm not meant to be your husband, let me be a good friend. We experienced each other. We had a good moment. We can go out, have drinks, kick shit, hop on the river, hop on the lake, do what we do, love. We enjoy life because we're good people. And that's the main thing. You just need to know good people and learn how to love and understand good people. Again, this shit is just the beginning. There's a lot of shit that's about to happen. It's a lot of stuff we're about to do. And we're about to change lives. Y'all have a good morning and be blessed. Thank you all for everything.